What's up, everybody? It's Dab to bring you guys another video. Um, I'm going to be talking about multiple topics in regards to the RTS 3080, PS5, and Xbox Series X pretty much selling out and having a limited supply of their inventory. Um, talking about uh, game pickups I got right here. Uh, talking about some niches and things outside of gaming that I'm getting involved in to make some money for myself. Um, what else? Uh, gaming news in general. Uh, games I'm looking forward to uh, in the future. And just in general, talk about other stuff. But anyway, I'm here to talk about uh, Microsoft's Xbox Series X. As you guys know, the pre-orders were uh, available yesterday, um, September 23rd, 2020. And um, they're pretty much sold out. <laughs> pretty much sold out. You can go to nowinstock.com and pretty much see that in all uh, categories, Walmart, GameStop, Amazon, uh, what else? Um, uh, I'm missing the Best Buy. Okay, and maybe some other electronic stores, maybe electronic fries as them. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, they are pretty much just sold out. And so basically scalpers, you know what I'm saying, are selling the pre-orders. I see them on Craigslist. Uh, people are selling the, their Xbox Series X pre-orders uh, for like something uh, like $900, $800, you know, just scalping it. You know what I'm saying? Same with the PS5 and RTS 3080s. And the 39, by the way, is going to be coming out tomorrow. Uh, September 25th, which I'm not getting. I read the report, the specs, and they said that it's 10% more powerful than the 3080. It's not worth the investment. And the spec 3080 Ti's, 3070 uh, Ti's, or Supers, what they want to call it. And expect, I didn't even read reports about 3060s, which will be more powerful than the 2080 Ti's, but less powerful than 3070s. So, I mean, or, or, or just saying, or, I don't know how it will go about, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about one topic at a time. I'll be uploading more videos after this one on YouTube so you can enjoy. Um, but I'm here to talk about Xbox Series X and why I'm getting an Xbox Series X. Uh, there, I think there's five reasons why I'm getting an Xbox Series X. This is just uh, well, as it's coming to my mind right now. Um, but other than that, though, uh, yeah, that's about it. So um, as you guys know, I'm a PC gamer. And as you guys also know, I own an Xbox One at one point. If you guys have been watching me, uh, I think really roughly around 2015. And also, um, with this measly 510 subscribers I got, but also you guys know that I've always uh, so criticized Microsoft, so criticized Nintendo uh, with the Wii U, uh, which was a horrible console, especially knowing that all their games are being poured over to the Nintendo Switch, which makes the Wii U pretty much useless. Um, only exclusive for that console is Xenoblade Chronicles X, uh, Splatoon Original, and I don't know what else. Um, what freaking, uh, I don't know what launch title it was for the Wii U, but some art, some some arcade type of game, Wii Sports, or I don't know, I don't freaking know, and I don't care. Uh, the Wii was a, just a horrible console. Um, so yeah, the Xbox Series X, uh, I'm planning on getting it. And from a PC per gamer perspective, uh, I hated the X. I had the Xbox uh, uh, One. Uh, hated the console um, <laughs> after I think 2016 because they had started pouring a lot of the games onto the PC. I'm like, wow, was well, there's no incentive for me to keep this console anymore? You know what I'm saying? Because there, I can play and pay them at play them at better frame rates, better res, uh, uh, better resolutions, um, mods, all that good stuff. <laughs> so games like Dead Rising Three, Rise of Rome, Quantum Break, these games games are coming to PC, and these games were exclusive to the Xbox One. And so, um, like when I looked at the library, exclusive library for Xbox One, and, and games that could have came at proper times and looked at the potential of the Xbox One, Microsoft was actually looking quite decent. You had Rise of Rome, Sunset Overdrive. You had um, Killer Instinct, one of the greatest fighting games of all time and series of all time. Best game, fighting game of this generation, hands down. Better than Street Fighter, Blaze Boot, Tekken, Soul Calibur, Guilty Gear, you name it. Um, even Mortal Kombat. <laughs> That's saying much. Um, and uh, what else? And so uh, Quantum Break. Uh, we had uh, Fable Legends canceled, never came. Qu Crackdown 3 eventually came, and it was just a bad game. I think to this day, I think the Crackdown community said that the original Crackdown is still the best one. Um, we had uh, Fable Legends. I, I, just, I just can't get over how the fact that was canceled. Phantom Dust, uh, OG Xbox remaster game, got canceled. And even Scalebound, a JR uh, or, or action Japanese game, which is basically like Devil May Cry meets uh, How to Train Your Dragon. It, it literally was like, oh, why? Why was this canceled? I'm like, Microsoft, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. And why did you cancel this? Come on, get get King Kamiya. Come back and bring back that game, please. Come on. Like my Sony can get The Last Guardian and Final Fantasy 15. Y'all can get this. Come on now. Bring get bring back Scalebound. But anyway, 
Uh, so I was looking at Microsoft, I'm like, yeah, it looks potentially good. And Halo Master Chief Collection, I'm sorry, there's some other ones, Halo 5, there are, there's quite a bit of exclusives. And I'm like, and then I start seeing these games pour over, and I'm like, oh man, my Xbox One is useless. So I sold the console. <laughs> I sold the console. I sold the console, and I never looked back. I was like, I'm on PlayStation, I'm focused on PlayStation, and so I was team PlayStation uh, for, from a PC gaming perspective, and screw Nintendo, screw, uh, screw Nintendo, and screw Microsoft. Not, not in 2015 for Nintendo, even though I criticized it heavily, not so much for Nintendo. But later cycles, man, um, later later months, like Nintendo's library is like freaking dead. It's like not enough games for me to as well. I'll be operating pretty much all the Wii U games. I'm like, this is unacceptable for Nintendo. Unacceptable, man. Third party support, just god, a little bad system. But <laughs> Xbox One sold that console. So I kept my PS4. I got uh, um I sold all my PS4 models and got a, a, a new one, which I wanted. And expanded in storage, which is sitting here right now on my desk. Um, was playing Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> so, and um, it just like oh, I just I'm like I want to support Nintendo Microsoft so much, but these com these 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 companies are not giving me what I want. But this generation, man, these companies have done one eighties. Uh, Microsoft, not so much with exclusives, uh, bringing their games to PCs, one I like Halo Infinite, and one I, thou, I'm not in a rush to get Xbox Series X now, because they're not going to have any launch exclusives, but there are other incentives to get me an Xbox Series X, and I want to elaborate on that, and I know it took me like almost seven minutes to get to this topic, so please forgive me, I wanted to warm you up, butter you up a little bit, to give you a little bit of history, but, um, there are, like I said again, there's about five good reasons for making an Xbox Series X. And one of them actually is due to the fact that Microsoft, Xbox Series X, uh, Gamer Pass Ultimate uh, is huge. Um, I wish I can show you guys right now. I'm going on uh, the internet right now for Microsoft. I want to give you guys a glimpse Um uh, what type of games are on the Xbox Gamer Pass Unlock so you guys can see for yourself. I need for you guys to see what type of games are coming. And so uh, for Microsoft's Xbox Series X, Xbox Game Pass is not only available for the Xbox One, uh, but an Xbox S and the Xbox Series X, but it's also available for PC. And so I got to give Microsoft okay, respect. Not only that, Xbox Live Gold is included. EA plays part of it. Don't care about EA. All their games are pretty much on PC. You get some uh, member discounts. New games are added all the time, including day one releases. Halo Infinite is going to be part of Game Pass, Gamer Pass Unlock. Okay? Uh, I'm going to show you some more stuff here, too. But um, I just want to show you guys. Well, I can't show you guys, but I want to look at the library of games that they have. Um, and I want to limit this to console. That's what matters. Um, so uh, Microsoft has games like Wasteland 3, Vermintide 2, Black Desert, MMO, Destiny 2, and the expansion, Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, uh, Resident Evil 7, okay? uh, Stranger, 3, Stranger Things 3, The Game, a Playtale Instance, heard about the game, uh, uh, heard that it was a phenomenal story. I, th I think I read it was an overwhelming positive of Steam. Ace Combat 7, uh, Banjo, all the Banjo games. Battle Chasers, Night War, Batman, Arkham Knight, Bloodstain, Animal of the Night, Bleeding Edge, uh, Devolver Digital's Carry On. They make great, great indie titles, man. Serious Sam 4 came out today. Crackdown 3, I will be playing that, by the way. Uh, and I think you can do a benchmark for it. Crackdown 3, Dark Stars 3, Daisy, Dead Island, uh, Definitive Edition, Dead Cells, Dead by Daylight, Dishonored 2, Dirt Rally 2.0, uh, Dirt 4, Descenders. I heard that game was actually pretty darn good. Fable uh, Trilogy. They're bringing Dragon Quest XI S, Definitive Edition. Final Fantasy IX and VII are on there. And the entire Kingdom Hearts collection, I don't know if Kingdom Hearts III is on here, is, on, it, it is coming, I mean, not coming, it is on Gamer Pass Online, which is insane. And I'm going to be playing that on an Xbox Series X. I can only imagine how, game, how good those games look and how the performance is going to be. For, for, for Kingdom Hearts on Xbox, the, the entire trilogy, expect me from for, expect me to get all the achievements for all of those Kingdom Hearts games. Expect for that to happen. We, I'll give you my guys gamer tag. 
the entire Gears franchise, including Judgment, Grounding, Guacamelee 2, Halo 5, Halo Wars 2, we're not getting the Ultimate Edition, Hollow Knight, the Void Here Edition, Hellblade, Hellblade 2 looks like it's going to be an Xbox is, uh, exclusive, uh, Killer Instinct Definitive Edition, all of these games are for Gamers Pass Unlocked. I mean, a Gamers, <laughs> gamers Pass Unlocked. I'm thinking about Best Buy, a, a Game Pass um, Ultimate. My friend Pedro. Oh, gosh, you guys got to play that game. Ooh. And so it blows my mind on how expansive the library is for freaking Microsoft. It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. I, I want an Xbox Series X so bad. I don't know what I'm playing. But I want to talk about, you know, look, 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 look. You can win the new Xbox Series X. I've already sent two codes in because they actually gave me two drinks, and I was not successful today. But I'm not going to be going to Taco Bell every day just to go out and do it. I don't eat fast food that much, but yay, folks. <laughs> Xbox Series X is where it's at. So that's the first reason. Okay, number two is backwards compatibility. Okay, backwards compatibility. OG Xbox games, 360 games, Xbox One games, Xbox One S slash X, Siri, uh, Xbox One Series S slash X games, especially day one releases, will be available for the Xbox platform at launch, which I believe is November 10th. I'm not going to look it up right now, um, but this is absolutely phenomenal. And especially if you have a 4K TV, which I'm trying to acquire one. I'm going. I'm getting a 4K TV. I have my monitor, but I want to get a 4K TV for Xbox Series X. Think about it. Halo Infinite, the new Fable. Please be Halo, Fable 4, not a remake. There was even a report. There were the folks uh, off topic. There was a report that Fable is going to be uh, the new Fable is going to be MMO. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys better not do that. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> but. It's not. They shut down those things immediately saying absolutely not. It's going to be an MMO. So thank goodness. A traditional Fable game. Hopefully better than Fable 3. That game was a travesty. God, the worst Fable game of all time. Please go back to Fable 1 and 2. Um, what else out there? Uh, they decided to make a new Perfect Dark. They're probably doing much with Rare. They need to make a new Killer Instinct, like I said before. Um, and some other, other games that Microsoft had are pretty much us, some Microsoft games. Uh, Hellblade 2 may be available on Gamers Pass on uh, Ultimate. And it's such an incentive to get an Xbox Series X, you'll be able to play these games, Ori and the Will of Wisps, and no doubt they're going to make a new Ori game, which will be part of Xbox Series X, uh, Series S slash X. It is absolutely phenomenal of the library games that can. I just can't wait to see what the performance is going to be like. I can't wait to see that. It is going to be phenomenal on how that's actually going to play out. Seriously. So, um, yeah, get that over. So, uh, I gotta respect Microsoft. The fact that I'm gonna be able to play games like Black and uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 and Panzer Dragoon Orta, uh, which is a very expensive game, by the way. Um, OG Xbox games like that, Mercenaries Playground Destruction. I'm not gonna play Kotor, Kotor series. Uh, those are available on PC with mods and whatnot. Um, three CC games like Gears of War 2 and 3 and Lost Odyssey and Blue Dragon available for backwards compatibility, upscale 4K TV at God knows uh, even better frame rates and whatnot. Uh, I won't, and people are going to be doing comparisons between these games as well. Um, and Xbox One games. Um, Halo 5, that's an exclusive uh, to this day. Uh, I think that's the only exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, Xbox One games, you know what I'm saying, uh, are available for uh, the uh, Xbox Series S slash X uh, at, at your disposal and along with the Xbox Series S slash X xbox series s slash x games okay uh, they'll be available at launch with uh the platform is absolutely phenomenal with gamers pass on ultimate backwards compatibility is such an amazing incentive you have to get one it is imperative and i have to respect microsoft i can play all those old gems that i have and my i have my physical copy of lost odyssey over there it is absolutely phenomenal and I got to respect Microsoft. With Sony, I read a report, and this may have been struck down or not, or just not reported, uh, or confirmed by Sony for themselves. But I heard that Sony's PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility will not be available unless you have PSN Plus. Now, that is disgusting. 
it's bad enough we're not getting PS4. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's bad enough we're not getting PS1, 2, and 3 backwards compatibility. But also, and it's, and it's also bad enough that uh, that uh, Sony, it, uh, which by the way made a claim that uh, they're that all the PlayStation 5 only games are never coming to PlayStation 4, which is a complete lie now. You know what I'm saying? Um, they confirm, uh, which is, for instance, two games, Spider-Man, which is one of them, Spider-Man, uh, uh, was Spider-Man, yeah, this, yeah, Spider-Man PS4, is getting remastered on PS5, uh, Horizon 2, Forbidden West is coming to PS4, now I'm I'm really I'm I made a video about about the PS5 whether I'm going to can, cancel my pre-order or not, okay? And that's an incentive right there. Uh, Horizon Two is coming to PS4. I don't need to make I don't need to jump ship to PS5 now because Horizon Two is coming to PS4. And you guys know Horizon uh, um, uh, Two of uh, so Horizon Zero Dawn is one of my favorite games of this generation. But there you go. <laughs> There's no incentive. There's no incentive. And the third, and what's even worse, uh, was even worse in regards uh, to so oh, well, not Sony, uh, but actually what makes uh, 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 and, uh, what, how Microsoft embarrasses Sony in this regard is a lot of the third party games that do have unlocked frame rates, like Monster Hunter World, and. I think Monster Hunter World is one of them for sure. Will have will actually run better even at probably solid sixty on the play uh, on the Xbox Series S slash X. Think about that for a moment. Monster Hunter World runs like forty frames per second on uh, on PS4 Pro, but because of lack of backwards compatibility for um uh, that that may require PSN Plus, if that's true. Then what's going to happen is that you're going to have, uh, <laughs> and by the way, I think the Xbox Series X is more powerful than PS5. Um, you're going to have better ran games, third-party games, on that platform. I still have not touched Monster Hunter World to this very day, but if I can get a solid 60 frames per second on Monster Hunter World on the Xbox Series X, that's an incentive for me to get that plat a uh, game. For that system, if it's true, and a lot, and I will, and I and I've said before, a lot of the old games, the OG Xbox games and three and three sixty games and whatnot, these games run um, better and look better on the new platforms. Microsoft, Sony doesn't care about backwards compatibility, and so it's a, there, there's a huge incentive for backwards compatibility. No, backwards compatibility is here to stay, and Microsoft needs to keep this up when they make a new Xbox, okay. In seven years from time, or any new versions, bringing more games, and they're, and they're updating the, the Xbox back, the backwards compatibility list. And I hope they update it prior to the release of the Xbox Series S slash X. So it's imperative, okay, that Microsoft continues with this, updates all platforms, bring more OG Xbox Game 360, etc. Don't just bring just more Xbox One games. Actually, no. All Xbox One games will be backwards compatible, but 360 and, and Xbox and OG Xbox games will be updated, and so that's good. So keep updating those lists. You know what I'm saying? I was happy that they they confirmed like for me, Code Veronica uh, HD, and I mean, could you imagine how Code Veronica HD is going to look on Xbox Series X? I mean, it's, it's going to be a <laughs> it's it's crazy right now. It's crazy. So um, I'm just looking forward to it, and just imagine the games that uh, that um, that uh, Microsoft's going to add to the backwards compatibility list with Bethesda being bought now. <laughs> imagine. Well, actually, I mean, I, mean, I actually I, I can't think of other games. I mean, pretty much all their old games are pretty much available for backwards compatibility. I don't think I can think of anything to be honest. I mean, Bethesda they got Doom, Wolfenstein, um, Quake. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Quake Four could be backwards compatible. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't, I don't mean. I mean, but I'm just throwing out some random games out there that Bethesda has at their at their disposal or IPs that they have at their disposal that they can make backwards compatible. But they have pretty much every single game backwards compatible. Fallout Three, Fallout Four, Fallout New Vegas, one of the greatest uh, uh, freaking RPGs I've ever played in my life. Um, but or first person with RPG element, but it's the, it's the best Fallout game I've ever played since Fallout Two. 
You know what I'm saying? And and and, and now we're hearing rumors about Microsoft buying Sega. I'm gonna make a video about that in, in, after this one, and then this video is gonna be done. But, so I want to speed up right now. We're at 20 minutes. Um, it, it's, it's this is imperative, folks. Backwards compatibility is a huge thing, and I got some games that um, I don't think I have right me, with me. You know what I'm saying? That I'm gonna be playing via backwards compatibility. Oh, I do actually. I'm sorry. I do have them. Um, yeah, Xbox Series X, but and these are all on on um these are all uh unwrapped games. I got Red Dead Redemption. Ooh, can you see that? Ooh, ah, it's too bright. Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition. Okay. On Rush, Codemasters game dropped really quickly, eleven dollars. Um, I don't think it drops to this price on PC, but I want to try it. Uh, dropping at eleven bucks. Halo Wars Ultimate Edition. This is not available for Gamers Pass Unlock. The Ultimate Edition, by the way, which includes Halo Wars 2 Seasons Pass and Halo Wars Definitive Edition. Okay? Um, so that's pretty cool. And Doom 3 BFG Edition. I bought this primarily for the Doom poster. That's why I bought it for. And I can play all these gems. These are all available via backwards compatibility. I, I, uh, or via, yeah, these are all of Oh, my goodness. I can't, can you guys see them well? Oh, well, hold on. These are all available via backwards compatibility at your disposal. These games right here. And so that is freaking phenomenal. Okay. By the way, shout out to um, Wolf Flow. I got Ghost of Shima, the fifth edition, special edition, I'm sorry. And um, it's still unwrapped. So, I mean, it's still wrapped, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, we're trying it. I'll be trying it later this year. Um, hopefully the Xbox Series X or, or, or the Nintendo Switch games do not keep me too distracted or, or PC for that matter. So um, this is amazing, and so I don't have the OG Xbox games and the 3C games that are in, they're in my closet, but I, I wish I could show you this, like, just, just ex in a sample size. They're all at my disposal, and so no, don't tell me that back to the doesn't matter. The sales of games that were available, you know what I'm saying, when Microsoft, when, when Microsoft confirmed backwards compatibility was huge, the, the, uh, the online um, uh, populations of games, you know what I'm saying, skyrocketed. I, remember, I read a report that when Microsoft confirmed 360 backwards compatibility with games like Call of Duty Black Ops, one of the greatest Call of Duty games of all time next to COD 4, the, 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 the freaking fan base went from like on average 42,000 players on 360 to freaking like 500,000. It was insane. Like people were like, oh my goodness, I can play Xbox, I can play Black Ops on my Xbox One. And you can play Call of Duty Black Ops 1 again on Xbox Series S X, this is huge, and they, they just keep doing it. And hopefully, Microsoft, when they release a new console, they're gonna say, "Hey, look, now you can play Xbox Series S X games on the new Xbox." Microsoft is doing some really pro and incentivized games, but incentivized uh, things to, to 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 get you to go out and and play their games. This is absolutely phenomenal. So, I gotta respect Microsoft for that. Um, so it's, <laughs> folks, it's backwards compatibility. And gamers pass on ultimate the third reason why i'm getting xbox series x is due to their their new custom ssd propriety storage um unit in the form of a memory card which is so nostalgic of course they're expensive as hell and so you know i'll be getting full-time warranties on these bad boys all of them but they're only come with one terabyte of space and you know these games are going to be huge massive you know what I'm saying? With games like Halo Infinite, that's going to probably take up 100 gigabytes or for the new Fable or the case, whatever the case may be. But nevertheless, though, the fact that we can just plug these in the Xbox One X Series S and slash X um, in a form of memory card and collect these bad boys like, like as if it's like a, a, an actual collectible is huge. It's propriety. And so we have to utilize it. Now, I think that's anti-consumer and I think that's complete BS. You know what I'm saying? But it's custom made, and I don't know how that's actually going to play out when it comes to games. Um, I really don't know how that's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? The Xbox Series S uh, will have 500 gigabytes, and the X will have one terabyte. But I think it's absolutely ridiculous that these these platforms don't have a two terabyte console. And I wonder, I mean, two terabyte, yeah, two terabyte version console. And I want, and I wonder uh, if Microsoft will release two terabyte or, or four terabyte versions of these proprietary uh, um, memory cards. I wonder if they will even sell well. You know what I'm saying? And so there's going to be a problem. And so basically, Microsoft is forcing you to get a new memory card. Now, why would I say that's a good incentive? It's because it's, uh, the um, uh, the accessibility. Uh, of the memory cards are so easy to handle. The fact you just plug it in, you know what I'm saying, 
and you don't have no loose cords or anything. It sticks inside the back of the other console, and you can just put it to the side. This is something you don't want to lose. This is something you want to keep in storage. And so uh, the memory cards are so small. I don't know what the length is. It's probably like two inches, two by two. I mean, I don't know how big they are, but they just plug in, and I pre-ordered one, just one. That's all I'm sticking with. I'm not only going to get one. You know what I'm saying? I have to uninstall games, uninstall games, uninstall games. It sucks, sucks. But I have good internet, and so I'm not worrying about it. But um, this is huge. And so um, uh, I don't know how that's going to play out with uh, Sony. I don't know if you'll be able to use any form of uh, um, uh, memory unit. But this reminds me, but this is still, a bowl. I know it's like it's, 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 it's twofold, but this reminds me of the PlayStation Vita um sony's place if you to force you to use their priority memory cards and so this this is this sucks and so i can't actually overlook this this is a con and a pro at the same time accessibility um easy of use um you know what i'm saying um i don't uh because it's cut because it's custom made um we don't know how fast this thing is we don't know we don't know what the power is but um people are saying that this is actually a bargain compared to the the ssds the one terabyte SSDs are on the market, and I was like, no, no, it's not. I got a nine, I got a hundred dollar one terabyte SSD from Sandisk. You know what I'm saying? Last year? No, 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 2020. No, yeah, last year. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't care. 2018, 2019. I got, I got it for not. I got it for uh, well, including tax. It was like a hundred and like ten dollars. So no, it's not. It's not. But it's portable. You can take this unit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's external. Well, that's the whole point. Don't make sense. But, uh, you know, it's, it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Um, in terms of accessibility, uh, the easy to, to format. Um, I wonder how that will be. I wonder, I wonder how this will work out on, on the PC if you want to port your games over. You know what I'm saying? How quick they run. Uh, I just want to see how, how things go with, with that type of memory. But it's it's twofold. But I think it's a pro in my opinion. But I would not I would wait for massive price drops. Now, when there's massive price drops for these memory cards, that for priority, if there's massive price drops and they're not major, they're not huge demands for them. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Then um, it's going to be worth it. It's absolutely going to be worthwhile having one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got myself a two terabyte Halo Wars two uh, external hard drive, which you guys actually can see from here, um, right here. I got one. This is two terabytes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much I paid for it, but it was it got I got it for real cheap back in 20 I don't know when this came out, but 2016 and 2017 I got it. You know what I'm saying? I think it was 2016. I could be wrong, but I got it, and this is that that looks so freaking dope, man. That looks so awesome. I love I love it. I love this external hard drive. Um, so yeah, it, 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 I wish I could use this type of hard drive, but uh, expect uh, maybe uh, Microsoft's uh, people. To hack the, the Xbox Series S slash X in order to actually run these things in the in the future. You know what I'm saying? Five years plus from now, if it's if it's possible. So um that's the third reason. I think um I think the fourth reason is not price. So there's there's no there's no there's no incentive there. Um the the library games available at launch I guess will be um a fourth reason but that kind of overlaps with my first and second reason. And that is, like I said, the, the back of compatibility games, Gamers Club, uh, game, Gamers Pass um, Ultimate, and the Xbox Series S, X games available at launch as well. Um, you know, there's going to be no Halo at launch. So my so, so um, um, Phil Spencer uh, made that promise that, uh, that the Xbox Series X will launch with the uh, with Halo Infinite, but, but because of the massive backlash due to the graphics, it's, it was absolutely unacceptable. And by the way, I think they said they ran a demo that, that came out in, in, in an alpha form or beta form, and so they had to fix that. They have to fix that. But I guess, um, if I'm not mistaken, if you guys put in the conversation, I guess Halo Infinite is a remake of Halo 1. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, to be honest. But uh, we'll see how things go in this regard. Um, Hopefully, um, Microsoft can pull this off, but I seem to can't get it in Xbox Series X. But I think that's pretty much it. So I guess it wasn't five reasons. Um, just a propriety SSD, a propriety a custom SSD, Gamers Pass on all the backwards compatibility. That sums it up right there. I don't think there's any other reason for me to get one. Uh, for, with a 4K TV, is going to look great. I've never had a 4K TV, so I'm, I'm planning on get one and see how I can get a really good, cheap new one. I'll wait, wait till Black Friday to pick one. Um, for the Xbox Series X, uh, but that's going to be after. So I want to have it at ready. So I'm willing to fork over a good 1500 plus for a 4K TV and make that bad boy last for God knows how long. 
So, folks, thank you for tuning in this ridiculously long video. It's 30 minutes about, um, and I'm getting, well, this is the three reasons why I'm getting Xbox Series X. And by the way, that a memory card, if you want to know the price, is 220 bucks plus tax. So, there you go. So, yeah, new gen, next gen consoles, better save your money and whatnot. Um, are you guys going to be getting these platforms at launch? Are you not getting them at all? You don't care about the Xbox Series S slash X? Um, are you getting are you getting one much later date? Are you getting the PS5 along? I mean, are you getting any of these platforms, you know what I'm saying, at all? You know what I'm saying? You're saying like, nah, I'm sticking with my PS4. I'm not gonna get one uh until several years later, or I don't even care about them at all. You know what I'm saying? I will be getting I'll be tr I'll try to obtain an Xbox Series X at launch. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully I'll end this video with this. No red ring of death. <laughs> okay, peace.